www.magic.com. And I've been invited to come by Ed to be able to talk about hydration. And as I told you a little while ago, I gave you some sheets for you to fill out your own, your own time. But it'll give you some ideas about what happens with the body as far as hydration goes. When we come into this world, we come in hydrated by 80%. And when we go out, we're hydrated about 50%. So in other words, our body is not operating the way it would normally operate you know, in coming in and when we leave. So one of the things that I have found is that there's a demonstration I can do on water that is going to make it very clear not only about hydration, but about the kind of water we drink. So the one thing I want to know is, and again, it's on the sheet that I gave you, what is it that you drink? What do you drink daily? What kind of water? Uh, or what kind of liquids? What, what do you drink? Nikon filtered water. Nikon filtered Nikon, water. Yeah. Nikon. Coffee. Yeah, yeah I, do, okay. I use that for my tea. Well. Tea. Okay, tea. Um, what, what do you drink daily? I drink hanging um, water. You drink kanye water, right. And your, your water is what? A kai. Okay, a kai, okay. Similar. Yeah, they're, they're, they're similar. But what I wanted to show you is that this is a demonstration I want to do for you. And what I've done is I've put a little bit of water into each one of these glasses. And this one here is an electrolyzed enhanced water from Trader Joe's. This is the Sandy. This is one of the, the largest selling uh, water, the common waters that there is in the world. This is made by Coca-Cola. Then we have Smart Water. Do you drink Smart Water? That's great. Then this is a wonderful water. This is called Voss. It comes from Norway. So this, this stuff is very, very expensive to you. Buy it by the bottle. But the thing is, I just want to show you what happens with this. Then we have Sprite. This would be the same as Coca-Cola. This is the same thing as Pepsi, uh, when I first started, before I started drinking the alkaline water, what I was drinking, my water of choice was Diet Dr. Pepper. And I loved it, and this was, this was over two years ago. Of course, as you can imagine, I don't drink it anymore. Now, the other one here is vitamin water, and this is really promoted. This again is by Coke. This is Coca-Cola, and the reason why people are drinking this is because they think there's vitamins in it. Um, well, we'll find out. I know there's a lot of sugar in here. And then what I have here is I have Kangen water. And I've also put a little bit of that in here. So what I'm going to do is I have these pH drops. And pH stands for possible hydrogen. And what I'm going to do, and you have your sheet there, and I will use my sheet here. And we can see just how good these waters are. Now, let me show you this. This sheet shows that this is a pH color chart, and what this says is if it's blue, purple, or dark purple, it's healthy. If it's light green, or and the, there might be some greens in here that would be a green, gold, or orange, these are not healthy. And again, I gave you a chart for you to look at so you can see the difference between the different drinks. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna put these drops, just a couple of drops, in each one of these. Coke, this is all of the uh, effervescent waters that you can get. 
this is propel, this is Gatorade. It's all the same. And now down here with vitamin water, and vitamin water is the same. It's acidic. This is not good for our bodies. And then we have, which is the flagship, I'm going all the way over here to this other area now. And you can see, this is alkaline, and it's just absolutely wonderful for the body. So now what I want to do is I just want to show you something, that if we went ahead and we drank what we're drinking, then we're going to get what we get. But let me show you something here. I'm going to take this Sprite. <coughs> I'm going to take my water, and I'm going to put a little teeny bit of it into each one of these. And I just want you to see what happens. Okay, so you can see that very quickly we can turn our body from being acidic to being alkaline, and that's by just changing the water we drink. That's how fast it can happen. Now, watch what happens when I do this. Oh, Isn't that amazing? It would take 32 bottles of this to be able to change our body from being acidic into becoming alkaline. And this, look at what happens with vitamin water. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to stick with the farce. Okay. <laughs> now, now, so what happens is that if we are drinking anything like this, mm -hmm. we've got a problem. Because we're not going to be able to do anything with our body to turn it into alkaline. We have, we have to drink a lot of this stuff to be able to make the changes. Now, here's the thing that I want to show you. If we drink this, and we think we're going to get an alkaline body, watch what happens. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? We now have acidified our body. And that's because we're just drinking this or drinking this. In the two years that I've been on alkaline water, there was one day when I had, I, I just had to quench my thirst with something that would bite. And so I had, I had the Sprite. I only got that much down. And it was so sweet, I couldn't drink it anymore. And that was all it took. Now, I also knew what this, would, this amount would do and how much it was going to take to change it. Well, I wanted to show you this just so you can see the difference in different bottled waters. I mean, ask me about anything. You have a chart there. I gave it to you so you can see which ones are, have a pH, a, a high pH, and which ones don't. And I'll give you an example. If we look at Aquafina, it has a pH of 535. It's going to be right in here. It's going to be right in this category. Arrowhead is going to be a little bit higher. It's going to come in in a, in a blue. Okay? Now, this is what I want to tell you about drinking water that comes out of the faucet. It's fishy here. Huh? It's fishy. It's fishy. Well, the thing is that all bottled water that comes out of the faucet, when we go ahead and we measure it, it comes out blue. And so people say, oh, this is great. It's, it's alkaline water. No, it's not. It's what they put in the water. It's what the city puts in the water to make it alkaline. The amount of chlorine that you have in the water, the amount of, of bad, bad, Nutrient, you know, bad, bad stuff. Lye. Lye. Um, what else is there? There's chloride. Uh, right. right. I mean, there, there's like 300 different, you know, toxic chemicals that are put in the water to make it look like it's it's okay. So I, my suggestion is just be very careful as far as drinking the water. The other thing is, if you're drinking this kind of water, any in any of these bottles, then what you're doing is you're throwing the bottles and you're building up this amount of plastic that we have in the ocean and in our landfill, and it doesn't go away. It takes thousands and thousands of years. Yeah, question. Well, all you have to do is, again, if you have, the, if you have these little drops, all you do is you take the filtered water and you check it. But there's something else that you need to check too, which it happens to be a little device I have to measure. Mm -hmm. It's called ORP. That's something that's different. But that's that's pretty much it. Now, <coughs> you think about you, if you looked at those the second and the third page. Mm -hmm. What is it that you know? 
not the, the water that you're, that you're drinking. I'm picking up uh, this, this, this one here. And when you look at the second or third page, it's like, what do you usually drink? And are you an avid water drinker? How many glasses of water do you drink a day? You know that, that our body gets rid of 10 glasses a day? Just in living? And if you exercise, you do high exercise, it gets rid of a lot more water. So my suggestion is look into alkaline water. We have, you know, Congan water, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the best, but we know there's other waters that are good too. But uh, yeah. So is common water is that are you is, are you filtering the water to make it common water? Or in you know, in order, yeah. Is it no, it comes right out of the faucet. It goes through a filtering system where it filters out most of the bad stuff, but it leaves the good stuff. It leaves the potassium, magnesium, sodium, and calcium in the water, and then it goes through an ionization process. It has to have those four ingredients in there to be able to have ionized water. And with our machines, they're called Congen water. We're the only machine that has that. There are other machines that make out Why is it important for your body to be alkaline rather than acidic? Disease cannot live in an alkaline body. And that's all I have to say. If you have an acidic body, there's a chance for disease. When I first started drinking the water, I had arthritis, I had allergies, I was way overweight, just, just three items, okay? I had acid reflux. And what happened is, as I started to drink the water, all of those things went away. Now, I drink a gallon of water a day. Now, that's not saying everybody needs to, but the thing is, we need to drink at least eight glasses a day. Now, are you gonna drink eight glasses of, of acid water in some way? Or are you gonna drink alkaline water? If you drink the alkaline, then it gives your body a chance to heal it. <coughs> okay, any other questions? Talk about the ionized. What is the ionize? <clears throat> what does ionization have to do with what, it? What, has, what happens with ionization is when the water comes through, <clears throat> it comes through as both acidic and alkaline. Okay, it's it's both of these. Now, what happens when you go through the ionization process is the water splits. It restructures the water, so the oxygen goes one way and the hydrogen goes the other. Now, we're not interested in drinking the hydrogen, we want to drink the oxygen. So when you look at the water, when it first comes out of the machine, there's a lot of bubbles, a lot of oxygen in the water. So the reason for the ionization is because you've got to, you, you, if you drink the hydrogen, then you're getting more of the acidic water. You need to drink the oxygen. And this machine does, it separates the water. All right, does that answer that question yet? How about getting into the cells? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we have in, in the process one of the one of the structures of the water is that it is microclustered. And what microclustered is very simple to, to give you an example. If this is a regular water molecule and it's this big, how does it get into that barrier that protects the the, um, the cell? Well, it just so happens that our water is like this, it's like a BB. And so what happens is it goes right and penetrates into the cell, cleans out the cell, gets rid of all the old stuff, and it gives it the good stuff, it gives it the good water so that it can heal itself. So, this is regular water, and this is microclustered water. Anything else, Ed? No, thank you. You got a question? Do you try this part, the you want me to try this water? Um, I'll give it afterwards and measure and see. All right. I think my time is up. Thank you. Have a couple. Well, any other questions? Yes. So if we, if I like go to the gym and I need like to warm down, like so the best thing is to get stuff that has to like you know the side. Yeah, you want to get. So it seems like the neutral. So what? Like it's okay to drink or it's like. All the waters are okay, but it's like. There's no water in there 
that can get into the cells to clean them out. What happens is this water, and this is Fiji, gets in, into the body, but it cannot get into the cell. Okay. Okay, this is the reason why most of us feel like we're, we're dehydrated all the time. It's because that water that's going in is not helping our body. Okay. It's just being eliminated. So this is where alkaline water, this is where the 8.5, 9, and 9.5 water. And you get the water from me for free. I give water away for two minutes for free. And it gives you a chance to test the water and see. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say one of the things I noticed when we first started doing it, and one thing Robert didn't mention was he had skin cancer that completely cleared up, which he had had for years and years, so it was really remarkable. Yeah, 40 um, Yeah, one of the things I noticed is that, you know when you drink normal water, you feel slushy and heavy? I mean, it's like, yeah. you with this, you drink it, and it just, because it is microclustered, and um, it actually has a different shape, the molecule actually has a different shape, um, it just absorbs so quickly, you never feel slushy, you never mm -hmm. feel heavy. Um, a lot of athletes that are cyclists, runners, and all of that, they said the hydration they get from drinking the Kangen water versus Gatorade or any of the other yeah, ones, um, it shaves time off of their runs. It, they, the endurance just goes through the roof. It's remarkable. I what, Gatorade you know. has stuff that you, the body needs. I forgot what it's called. Well, it's, it's electrolytes. Yeah. But, but you can get, we have, our water has electrolytes in it. That's part no, of the ionization it. process. I know some water doesn't have it. Oh, it's, I know most water doesn't. And that's why the electrolytes in ours, uh, it does have. Okay. Yeah. What? Robert, which is more important, pH or microcluster? They go, they go together. The pH just shows you where your output it is or not. It has to be at least 7.1 to 3 to be alkaline. If it's at less than 7, which is neutral, it's not alkaline, it's not acidic, but if we're getting down to 6, 9, 6, 8, 6, 7, down to 5, we're getting down to 4, as far as the pH goes, that's where it, you know, it'll, it'll do in the body, eventually. Seven, six, five. What we want is, we want to be over seven. Now again, there's bottled waters that are over seven. There's even bottled waters that'll get up to nine. But there's something else that, that really I need to talk about, and I, I don't have time to do that, and it's called an ORP. It's the oxygen reduction potential. Mm -hmm. See, what happens with most of the waters is they, they're not there to um, put oxygen into your system. So therefore, the free radicals that come in because of the fluid we eat or, or the air we, we breathe or this, it's like with the free radicals, 